Uh, Jasper, first of all, why uh, was this politician prosecuted and just how significant is Erdogan's flouting today of this court's ruling? Well, in um, late 2014-2015, uh, when the Islamic State was besieging Kobani, uh, which is on the border of Turkey and Syria, lots of Kurds uh, felt that Turkey could take steps to prevent an Islamic State victory. Kobani is a Syrian Kurdish town. And Salatin Demirtas and other Kurdish leaders spoke out to protest the government's inaction. Uh, and the people protested in the streets. The protests became riots, and at least 37 people were killed. Now, Erdogan blames Demirtas for these deaths, accusing him of responsibility. But the court in Strasbourg said there was no link between what Demirtas said and the riots themselves. Now, this is the reason, uh, you know, the tens, the dozens of people killed. Uh, this is the reason that Erdogan gives for holding uh, Demetash in prison all these years. But in my opinion, it is not the real reason. Demetash is one of the most charismatic politicians in Turkey. He's a great public speaker, he's witty, and most of all, he has the common touch. He was invited onto a Turkish television uh, show. He arrived in a suit and carrying a traditional guitar, the saz, and he played the saz and sung a Turkish song. Turks had never seen anything like it, a Kurd singing Turkish songs on television. And under Demirtas's leadership, the Kurdish party's seats in parliament have jumped from six to 60. Uh, and I think this is why Erdogan wants him out of the way. And the Strasbourg court said that the reasons given for detaining uh, uh, Demirtas uh, uh, do not uh, match up. What is really going on, the Strasbourg said, court said, was an attempt to limit free debate in Turkey. The significance of Erdogan's saying that he will take no notice of the Strasbourg court's decision is that, you know, the Strasbourg court, because of Turkey's membership of the Council of Europe, is effectively the highest court in Turkey. And when the president ignores the highest court in the country, that means there is no rule of law. Jasper Mortimer, uh, our correspondent in Ankara, thank you very much.